Welcome to episode two of Stumble Chums. I can't believe they let us film another one. Well, did we actually ask for permission? I guess not, but we could ask for forgiveness. I mean, that is basically my life motto. I'm Alan, the Fall Guys video producer. And I'm Oliver, age 24, the senior community manager on Fall Guys. You know what? I think we've almost hit a thousand subscribers on the channel. Wow, that's only 99,000 away from getting a silver YouTube play button. That means it's only going to take us another 198 weeks. I can hardly wait. We've got a whole lot of stuff to cover in this episode, so let's get straight to it. Alan, have you ever wondered how the stages in Fall Guys are created? You know what, Oliver? I have. Well, lucky for you, we just released a new episode of Behind the Stumbles, which covers exactly that. In the latest episode, Meg, Joseph, Peps and Rob talk about making stages, their favourites, and some that just didn't make the cut. I can't wait to watch that. Wait, didn't you edit that video? Oh yeah. Anyway, that's not the only new video we've got for you this week. No, it's not. Over the weekend, Joe and Jeff were interviewed by the one and only Shuhei Yoshida on Bit Summit. If you want to check out that interview or the latest Behind the Stumbles, the link's are in the description. Oliver, do you know what I would love to know? Yes, I think I do. If they call flies flies because they can fly, why don't they call humans dabs because they can dab? <sighs> nope. Once again, mm. once again, you have disappointed me. I was just thinking that it would be great if we knew the release date of Fall Guys. Ah, yes, but we can't talk about that. However, on a totally unrelated note, Devolver Direct is just around the corner. That's right, on the 11th of July, you can expect to hear a metric ton of Fall Guys news. I just wish we knew the release date. Maybe we'll never know. Last episode, we asked you to send in your questions for the developers. And boy, did they only marginally disappoint us. So let's have a look at the least terrible, I mean, the best questions now. I think personally the most hilarious bug was the time the first guy fell over and a Joe was just like, oh my god, this is it, this is the mechanic. It's the full guys. Early on in the offline prototype, the first time we were testing local multiplayer, we only had one spawn point um, and we had four players spawning into exactly the same position. So um, they all spawned in on top of each other. Every player went flying into the air and then they all fell down, stacking exactly one on top of the other. So you got a nice uh, totem pole of four guys. So on the loading screens before rounds, we normally have uh, a bunch of text, which sort of gives you a hint as to how to play and we use the R2 button image to uh, yeah, show you which buttons to press and it was replaced by the laugh crying emoji so that was pretty good and in the game for far too long. There was this play test that we're having quite early on in the, in the prototype where we had around 60 people and one of our engineers, David, was running up Full Mountain and he was going to be the first to reach the crown. We also had about 30 people spectating at the same time and just as he reached the crown, there was some sort of collider issue and he bounced off into the environment and didn't manage to win. And everyone in the office at the time started screaming like, ah! And I think that's probably my favorite bug so far. We had this ticket put in um, for a bug where a player who was jumping through a hoop right, uh, right after somebody else has done it, so it's, it's just moving up, could get caught. If you jump right at the right moment, you could get flung into the air. You have to make a decision about what kind of game this is. Um, and it was pretty obvious to everybody at this point that Fall Guys is exactly the kind of game where you can jump for a hoop and get shot into the air. So yeah, I closed that, sent one, that one back um, uh, as a feature, which, which is really fun. And I hope we get to see people flying around in the level. So how many mini games are we going to have in Fall Guys? We're looking to have 25 mini games in the games for launch, which is pretty awesome. They're all completely different, which is really cool. And then we will be releasing new rounds with the season content, which will be every couple of months. There will be totally new rounds, uh, which have different mechanics in them, as well as new maps for existing rounds. Don't really have any, to be honest. No, can't think of any. I would say my most useless talent is that I'm really good at DDR, Dance Dance Revolution, probably the result of a misspent youth. 
Um, but yeah, if anyone wants to challenge me, I'm up for it. <laughs> Wow, Alan, those were both fun and informative. I know. And remember, if you've got any more questions you want us to ask the development team, then please just leave them in the comments below. It is time. To end the show? No, for some actual content. You're saying we actually have some new original content? That's exactly what I'm saying. We've got our hands on some 3D in-game renders of the last few winners of Make a Fall Guys. Wow, you know what? That actually does sound like real content and they look really good. And we're still open for submissions for the fourth round. So, if you want to see your design turned into an in-game costume, click the link in the description. For the first time ever, we've got an exclusive Stumble Chums competition. That's right. Leave a comment on this video below telling us how you first heard about Fall Guys and we'll pick a winner on the next episode. We've got as many as one free copy of the game to give away. As many as one? Yeah, we don't really get a budget for this show. Fair enough. In other news, Rob Jackson, one of our lead artists, has spent a lot of time this week photoshopping a face onto an oven mitt. I really hope he didn't spend a lot of time doing it, but I, at the same time, I'd, I'd still love to buy one. Don't you mean two? One for each hand. And now that we're scraping the barrel for news and content, I think that's the end of this episode. Well, no, 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 Oliver. We can scrape that barrel just a little bit harder. We've got this clip from On Cruise Control where he just manages to qualify during the Whirly Gig. Good job. Nice. Oh, no! I'm not making it. That's four more. Oh, it's us four. Oh my gosh. I'm the last one. <laughs> and like that, the barrel is officially scraped clean. But don't forget to keep sending in your questions, your pictures, your video clips, anything you want to share with us, and we will show them in the next episode. I'm a head out. Bye. Bye.